Hello and welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. A lot of fear and frustration uh, fueling finances across the country, but what's going on locally in Redlands, for instance? With us now, the mayor of Redlands, Pete Aguilar. Thank you very much for being here. Thanks for having me again, Leslie. So how are things in Redlands? If we hear about tight budgets everywhere we turn. Is it the same there? Absolutely. Um, we're not immune to that. We've had difficult budgets for the past few years. We closed a $3.9 million deficit this year. Uh, we just finished our fiscal year June 30th as well, and, and we're going to have a balanced budget for the previous year. So we're doing what we can to solve our problems. Um, there's pain associated, but um, you know we're doing what we can to provide uh, services to residents. Um, but more importantly, we're having balanced budgets, and, and that's important. It's what our residents want, uh, and it's what we've uh, committed to doing. So we're seeing some positive growth in sales tax, um, uh, property tax. So we're cautiously optimistic that things are, are on the uptick, uh, but we're still doing what we need to do and making tough decisions um, in order to balance the budget. Are there any particular areas residents might see some effects of the budgets or things regging, uh, running right along for you? Well, you know, things are, things are difficult and, and we're doing more with less. Uh, we, have, we have less people. Uh, we have over 100 uh, less full-time employees at the city than we did uh, two or three years ago. So what they might see, um, uh, what we're making sure that they, that they, that they not see is um, uh, reduced service levels uh, in our parks um, and at City Hall uh, to provide basic services. Service. So uh, we're doing what we can, uh, but you know the residents. I don't think uh, have seen uh, all of the impacts uh, to that, and we're we're doing what we can. What are you doing to work with the residents uh, to improve services in the city? Well, we just created a new program that uh, is called Made in the Shade, and what we do is we're utilizing the city's uh, block tree trimming rate. Uh, we have 38,000 trees that we're responsible for in the city of Redlands, the parkway trees, and uh, what we're doing is we're using the city's block rate of uh, $45, and we're asking residents that your tree may not be at the very top of the list, but if you want it to be trimmed and moved to the top of the list, you can come together with your neighbors and your friends and uh, contribute uh, to use that lower rate to have your tree trimmed. So you're saying to people, if that tree needs to be trimmed, you might as well take the bull by the horns, do it yourself, enjoy a discount, and uh, get it done soon. Absolutely, and working with us and working with their neighbors to make sure that it, that it makes sense. But utilizing our, our lower rate uh, will be helpful, and we have a private sector vendor um, do that. So it's an improvement to residents. People doing their own part is uh, a big part of what's going on in the city of Redlands. Volunteers making a difference. Absolutely. Our volunteer and intern programs are incredible. Uh, I participated in, in one earlier this year and we had uh, th over a thousand volunteers uh, contribute uh, to the city. But every day we have volunteers uh, helping out in our parks, uh, in our uh, HR department, human resources departments all over the city. They contributed 27,000 hours in last year alone. So we really couldn't do this and continue to provide the basic service without that volunteer assistance. What are some ways people can help if they're interested in helping out the city? Well, they can go to the C's website and they can look at the available programs for volunteer and interns. Um, uh, we have a, a lot of opportunities uh, for them to contribute uh, positively to the city, and uh, you know, it's it's just a great service that that we continue to provide. Uh, you say you've been really busy lately. What's on the agenda? What are you looking at for the future? Well, the summer music festival is is winding down uh, there in Redlands, um, but uh, we have a 9/11 festival, 9/11 uh, uh, commemoration as well that we're looking forward to, uh, and the fall is always a great time in Redlands, so we encourage residents to, to come out and to be involved. All right. Thank you very much, Pete Aguilar, Mayor of Redlands, for being here today. Nice to see you. Thanks so much. And thank you for tuning in. Stay with us. More HLN coming up right after this.